Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is off to your ninja. He's in his M41 Bulldog, and this is a tier 8 game on Live Oaks. Now, what you guys missed uh, during the countdown was uh, Ninja remarking that he's in the wrong Bulldog. Apparently, he was aiming for his Bulldog GF and somehow picked up this thing instead, and now he's stuck in it. So, I assume he was going to make some money, and now he's just not. Also, you will notice the, the stupid markers are still wrong. It's a bug. Um, but before we get too far into this game, I do need to talk about World War Rising. It is the sponsor uh, for this video and for a couple other videos. And they're, they've agreed to sponsor the channel for a little bit. So I would like you guys to try them out, please. Uh, it helped me out a lot. And you might have some fun, right? Um, it's a mobile game, RPG, MMO thing, basically a 4X, you know what I mean. Strategy game. Go out, click all the ingredients, wood, lumber, wood, wood, lumber, yes. Yes, Ether, wood and lumber. But anyways, the game is about World War One and Two and that kind of era, and the weapons and armaments from there. And, I mean, if you guys are playing World Tanks, you're interested in that era anyway. You might as well play a game also based in that era. Um, there's a link. There will be a link in the description. There will also be a link in um, my Discord channel under sponsor content. And just go check it out. Try it for 10 minutes for me. If you decide you don't like it, that's okay. I'm not going to hold it against you. But 5 10 minutes, please. It will help me out greatly. Help the channel out greatly. Uh, we're going to get on with the game. So we are definitely lit. Yeah. And jeez, something just flew overhead. He's trying to hide most of it from the Type 4 back over there because that thing can definitely one shot him. Um, uh, unfortunately, because this gun no longer has the, or the tank no longer has an auto loader, he's not, in fact, able to really unload on this little uh, Lynx there. That's an IS. Well, we don't really care. We definitely can't shoot. Oh, no knee in the open. Broadside to our team. T30 is going to do something about it, I hope. T30 is over our shoulder. Should, there should be a giant blast of death coming in. No death coming in. I don't know what that T30 is. Oh, there we go. T30 shoots the Type 4 Heavy. We'll take that. I was expecting the shot into the Oni. Is not what happened. Either he knew the Type 4 was coming and he was waiting. Or, ooh, something else impacts the Type 4. That Type 4 is going to die. Because there's no way that T30 doesn't reload in time to punch one through the Cybus turret. Uh, that was the Waffenjager. Where's this T30? I don't know. I'm going to murder this camera. Stop showing the ceiling. The nice folks don't want to see my ceiling. Okay. I forget what I was going to say. Uh, hey, look, an enemy T30. Been ranting about our T30 so much. H how did you miss that? How did you miss that? He's very slowly rolling from side to side. How did you miss that? Uh, you know... There are times in this game where you get teams where you're just sitting there staring open mouth at the scout going, How? Why? Why can't I pick this up and go do it myself? Well, unfortunately, that's not the way scouting works anymore. The Lynx, though, is definitely getting his money's worth. He definitely just lit up our WT, and uh, hopefully we can light him up and take him out of this match. And then, nope, haven't hit him yet. Actually, it's not true. We took his tracks off momentarily. He's about to light us, though. And go screaming right past. Um, are we going to get a second shot on? Yes. But, of course, the HE doesn't pen and does, definitely doesn't do any serious damage. Doesn't take his wheels off. 
There, there we go. There we go. And yes, I know. I said we took his tracks off earlier, and he's a wheeled vehicle, and so it's unlikely we took his tracks off. Uh, that was because the track just so kidding icon came up. And my brain had a fart, and that was the end of that. Ah, uh, I said wooden lumber. Is there? Was, there were two separate things earlier in the video. I don't know why you guys surprised that I managed to screw up tracked and wheeled vehicles. I mean, whoa! That's not who we wanted to see right there. Uh, shooting him over the back of the tank is not particularly beneficial. But finally, the teeth already comes in useful and wax him just before we do. So that is a dead T25 uh, slash 2, which is nice. T3 is looking the other way. He cares only about the Oni. He just fired, so he's completely at our mercy. Uh, the only thing you gotta remember is there is definitely two artillery, at least two artillery, aiming in this direction. So we're gonna stick as close as to this T30 as we can as Ninja continues to circle him. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, and now the T30 is dead. We no longer have cover from him. Yes, he was acting as our cover against the artillery. Now that he's dead, we got to find a new bit of cover. Mm, that's the only thing. Um, when you know you're spotted and you're running across an open field, don't run straight lines, especially when you know there's at least two or three artillery that are trying to kill you. Um, unfortunately, Ninja ran straight into that shell because it came straight, flying straight back out at him. And he was running in a straight line. So, it's just the way that works sometimes. You gotta zig and you gotta zag, otherwise, bad things happen. And now you guys have seen my desk. Oh, Lord. This, this green screen. I swear. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If there are, if there are suddenly not videos for several weeks, I may have torn my brig apart and thrown it out a window. But, I will try and restrain myself. Uh, okay, so running away from the U90. I assume he's trying to wait for his driver to come back up. Oh, no, he's going. Uh, he's going to loop back around and get back into the fight. That's what he's doing. Instead of going through the U90, as I probably would have tried to, he's just going to loop all the way around and take it this Conway. He's not even going to know there's somebody there until it's way too late. Uh, the Tiger 1 is dead. Conway is spotted and definitely in her sights. Except we rolled low, and the T30 gets the kill. <sighs> you know, sometimes there is no justice in this world. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so the 90 who's on full health, is over there with the Mod 1, who's also on full health. That's great. That's great. I don't see how this could possibly go running at all. Our Conqueror is tiptoeing up around the corner, shooting the Mod 1. Good job for him. Mod 1's going to aggress on him now that he's fired. And we're going to take advantage of that and shoot the even 90 because it is a softer target. I don't know if this path is going to work the way you want it to. Nope, we're shooting the Mod 1. Because we have side shots on the Mod 1. Mod 1 had just fired when we took our first shot, so we knew. Ooh! We had the opening. ELC is reloading. We're gonna go ahead and try and put him out of our misery before he reloads. Mod 1's not looking at us. Oh, jump in. Fire, unfortunately. That went off the turret. And Mod 1's definitely looking over here now. Ooh! Takes our tracks off. Yes, the tracks this time. And now the Mod 1 is going to use the Conquer for cover. Unfortunately for him, Ninja knows how to aim. And he shoots the Conquer. Yes, we get the last kill. Good enough. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's jump over to the battle results before my camera starts looking at the ceiling again or the green screen falls over, or something else happens, and I talk about another tracked vehicle that's actually got wheels on it. Uh, you know? I don't know what's going on with my system, but 
is the name Sanger, hand, hand of God, Spotter, Bruiser, Duelist, Fighter, Fire for Effect, Four Bonds, plus Scoochies, and a Scout Meadow. A Scout Meadow. Wait a second. Half of these guys weren't discovered until more than halfway through the game. Wow, okay. I mean, most of the time when you get skip medals, it's because you rush forward, spot the entire enemy team, and they shoot you. And then you try and get away. And then potentially you survive. And then your team wins, and then you get a skip medal. That's obviously not how Ninja does the skip medals. Obviously, he, his involves running in there, getting a half the team spot, and then going in there later and f spotting the rest of the skip medal. Well done overall. Um, the T30 apparently had enough things to be helpful. Thank you. I guess. Sorta. Of. Unfortunately, because we caused damage to an ally, we didn't make money. I don't even remember what damage we go. Oh, that's the Conqueror we shot, isn't it? The one we shot without doing any damage to? Yeah, we scratched his paint. It's going to cost 400 bucks to repair it. That's why you didn't make a profit. That sucks. But, um, yeah. Overall, this was a great game. Thank you so much, Ninja, for showing it. Uh, I can't wait to see your next game. And uh, go download World War Rising, please. It would really help me out. It would really help the channel out. I think you guys will enjoy it. It's from the same time period. Tanks is same similar weapons. It's Go download the game. Play for 5-10 minutes. If you decide you don't like it, I get it. So you really like it. Can I get some comments about that, please? Thank you so much, guys. Have a great night. This is IOE Throughout.